Hi, and welcome to your sexy bar tone workout, where we're gonna be utilizing slow, controlled movements so that you feel strong and confident in your body. This is a part of the Ballet Body Flow series where you can join us absolutely free with the link below to download your challenge guide and join our community. Okay, let's get started. Let's start down on our mats. We're gonna be doing eight exercises, and this first round we're not gonna use ankle weights, and then I'm gonna add ankle weights for an extra burn afterwards. Okay, so let's begin in downward facing dog. So we're gonna start by pressing all the way up into our downward dog. Now our first move, we're gonna lift the right leg up, just like this, and we're gonna pull the right knee in towards our right tricep, and then we're going to lift it all the way back up into three-legged dog. All right, so let's go. We're gonna go eight times like this. Eight, and up, seven, and up. Good, so every move in this workout is full body. So we're using upper body strength, core, lots of back muscles, and of course, our legs. Lots of booty and hamstring work here. Good, three, and moving nice and slow. Slow, controlled movement. And one, now we're gonna hold the three-legged dog right here. We're gonna tap down and lift up eight times. Here we go, eight and seven. Good, six, think about lengthening through the sides of the waist. And four and three, beautiful. Really keep that leg strong, two and one and up. Nice job, lower all the way down onto your left elbow and your left knee. Extend your right leg on top, reach right arm over, and we're gonna bring everything in, hand to knee, extend really long. So smooth and slow and controlled. Good, eight and seven. I want you to move really slow. I know you can move faster, but this is about really getting into your body, connecting with muscles that you don't normally use. Good. Five, point your toe, long stretch. Four, and three, good. And two, and one. I know you're feeling that booty. Good, and then we're gonna come up onto our hands. Now we're gonna come up into a high plank pose, and we're gonna cross the leg twice. So we're gonna go one, two, tap it to the side. So just little sexy walks right here. Tap to the side eight times. Here we go, eight, and reach, seven, and reach. So I want you to use those arms, six, and reach. Biceps forward, triceps back. Think about pushing the floor away, lengthening through the spine. Tap, good, three, and tap. So if you notice, we're staying all on the right side. And one. And tap, good. Now we're gonna sit all the way down here. Place your left elbow down. And we're gonna lift up into an arabesque here. So extending the leg behind. Left elbow's down, right hand down. And then I sit down onto my left booty. Turn it all the way around so you're in a nice all fours position and extend. Here we go, eight times, eight. And up, so this first time, you're just getting used to the moves, right? Then we add the ankle weights, and then I want you to come back to this workout and do it again and again and again, because you're gonna feel something different, I'm sure, every time. Three, and two, and one. Good job. So now we're gonna come up into a high plank pose. We are going to step forward into a nice big high lunge. And we're gonna take our foot up, place the knee down, lift up into an attitude. Good, so step it forward, pull it in, kneel down, and lift. Eight times just like this. So my right foot stepping on the outside of the mat, my knee pulls in, knee down, and lift. Good, eight. And up, seven. And up, six, and up, five, and up, four, 
three. And two. And one. Good, now take this leg. We're gonna cross it all the way over to the other side. And you're gonna pull the left knee up towards your chest. Tap that knee back down to the floor and then kick side. Just like that, tap it back, pull it in. Eight times, here we go. And eight, and up. Seven, and up. Six, and up. I want you to just really Get into your body. Five, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's really about connecting and moving maybe in a way you've never moved before, right? So that you can access different muscles and sculpt your body in a different way. Three, and out, and two, and out, and one. And out. Now take that knee. We're gonna shift ourselves forward. And then you're gonna take this knee and you're gonna cross it behind. Like a little child's pose. And we're gonna bring it all the way up and in. I'm leaning really far forward, almost like if you're in a half plank here. All the way far forward. And then coming back. So you're gonna feel those arms work a lot here. And now for any of you who are a little bit more advanced and you want a little more, you can add a little push up there, okay? But if not, just keep those arms straight. Eight and seven and six. Whew. And I feel my core and arms work a lot. Five and four. Good. And three. And two, and one, and back. Okay, so now we're gonna add the ankle weights, okay? So now that you've gotten a little bit more used to these moves, right, we're gonna do it a second time, put the weight on. If you wanna add that extra challenge, you're gonna definitely notice that extra burn too, okay? So add the ankle weight on the right leg. We're doing the right leg again. Okay, here we go. So lift it up into three-legged dog. Pull it in for eight. And up. Seven. Good. one hold it up there at the top a three-legged dog tap down and up eight times here we go eight and seven six hold on to that core five arms are straight and strong four and three and two and one good job come down onto that left elbow we're gonna reach it over to this side pull it in for eight Reach, seven, nice and slow, six, five, reach, point the toes, four, one, and reach, good, right from here, you're just gonna tap the hip down, toe comes down, and you're gonna extend long into that arabesque. Come right back down and lift. Here we go. Eight and tap. Seven and tap. Using that core a lot to twist yourself up and over, land softly, and then come right back up. So you gotta use a lot of obliques here. And 
and one. Come right up into your high plank pose. Here we go, we're gonna go two walks, tap it side. Two walks, tap it side. Keep going, eight. So make sure you're moving slow. All right, that's where when you move slow, you can get into the muscles in a really juicy way. Three and two and one. Nice job. Tap the right foot down, pull it in, knee comes down, and attitude lift. Good. Now, if you want a little extra challenge, you could stay up in high plank instead of pulling the knee down, right? So modified would be knee down or add the extra challenge with the plank. Whew. Definitely adds a lot there. Three. Two. And one. All right. Place the knee down. Cross over. Pull the knee up in towards your chest. Push the floor away. Tap down. Kick side. Here we go. Eight times. Feel how strong your body's getting. Feel this smooth, graceful movement, which requires a lot of muscle recruitment. We're targeting those smaller muscle groups so we can tone up without bulking up. Bringing out your beautiful feminine physique. Good, four more. Nice, now take that knee, come all the way forward and push it back. Remember, you can add that push up if you'd like. That little push adds a lot. Otherwise, if you're still working on building up, just keep the arms straight. Good. Two, two, and back, and one, and back. All right, so that was our right side. You did amazing. You've obviously got more acclimated to these moves. Now we're gonna go to the left side. Do that all over again on the left side, okay? So shake it out, <sighs> catch your breath. You ready? Okay, I'm excited. I love these kinds of moves because it really takes up my, my brain, right? Like I have to really focus on it and it just helps me to just move through the movements. I don't know, I just zone out. I feel more present in my body. Good. Six and up and five. Try to bring that knee all the way up to your armpit. Four. Squeeze your booty up at the top. Now let's hold it there eight times, just like that. And eight. And seven, good, keep going. Lower down onto your right elbow. Lift the hip up, reach long, and let's go tap and reach. I want you to try to move as slow as you can. It's in those little spaces, that transition, that you have to turn on muscles. 
that you don't normally work. Good, five. And reach. Four. Stay strong in the shoulder. Three. Hold on to your core. Two. One. Nice, right from here, just tap the booty down, tap the toe down, swivel all the way around into your arabesque kick. Nice, just like that. Let's go eight times, eight. up onto those hands. Here we go, we're gonna crisscross, step it twice, and tap side. One, two, and side. One, two, and side. Three. Two, and one. Nice job, step it all the way front to that high lunge. Pull the other knee in, bring the knee down, lift up into attitude. Here we go, and eight. Seven. Six. Keep those arms really straight and strong. Three. Two. One. And lift. Nice, just take that foot, tap it over to the other side. Pull right knee into your chest. So create that Halloween cat in the back. Tap the knee down and kick side. Nice, here we go. Eight times, feeling that core, feeling the arms, feeling the booty, full body, and eight. I challenge you, as you get more comfortable with the moves, don't speed it up. That's usually the first thing that happens. I want you to keep it at a slow and controlled pace. And one. And reach. Nice job, we're gonna pull the knee in right here and then cross it back. Okay, so remember you can add a little child's pose. I'm gonna stretch myself out a little bit more. Or you can add a push up here, I mean. And back. Seven. Six, keep that core tight. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, okay. Now we're gonna add the ankle weight on the left leg and we'll do that all one more time on the left side. How are you doing? Yeah, it builds up, right? All of a sudden it's like, ooh, okay, I'm fatigued. It's good, right? The slower you move, the more challenging it's going to be as well. So I really want you to keep with that nice, slow, graceful pace. All right, let's come into the downward dog. And let's begin. Lift up, squeeze the booty up at the top, pull the knee in, knee comes all the way up to the tricep or armpit and back. Here we go, eight times. Let's go, eight.
Now we're gonna tap the toe down and lift. I want you to lift as high as you can, squeeze that booty at the top, straighten behind the knee eight times. Let's go. Come down, right elbow down, left knee down, or right knee down. Extend long, point the toes, pull it in, really press hand to knee, and eight times. Nice job, sit the right booty down, tap the left toes, roll all the way over, use those obliques, extend to arabesque. Good, eight times, let's go. To your high plank, here we go. Two sexy walks to the side kick. And one, two, and side. Really use those obliques again. Pull the belly button in. Push the floor away with those arms. So you really want you to use those arms. Keep the shoulders square. You're doing beautiful work. I know this isn't easy. And I'm so proud of you for showing up, working out, doing something different. Nice, step all the way forward, high plank pose. Pull the knee in. So level one, knee down, and then attitude lift. For those of you more advanced, you wanna add on, you can do high plank instead with the back leg. Here we go, eight times. Smooth transitions right there. You gotta really pick the leg up, use your core, push the floor away with those arms. Nice, put the knees down, tap the left foot on the other side. I'm sweating now. Here we go, pull the knee in, up and side. Whew. Getting breathless. Last few moves. go. Last move, add that push up if you for it. Elbows come in towards the ribs, add that push up if you're ready for that extra challenge. Last one, all the way in and all the way back. Whew. 
All right, you made it through this series. I've got a little bonus finisher for you. On both legs here. How you feeling? Pretty good, we've got just a couple minutes left. All right, so now we're just gonna really get into the booty. If you need a little bit more extra padding, this is always what I like to do. I just like to add a little bit here for my knees. Long, pull the abs in, ribs in. I know we did a lot of upper body work, but keep yourself solid here. Okay, no sinking. Five, four, three, two, and one. Little kicks up here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do that again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Little kick. Three. Two, another set, here we go, eight. Woo. Four, hold those ribs in, three, two, one, little kicks up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we've got one more set, here we go, eight. You got this, seven, six, five, Woo. four, three, Nice job. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side. Let's do this, reach the right leg long. I want you to really square everything off, okay? Here, elbows under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let that burn. Eight, seven, six, five. I know the heat is building. Let it burn. Little kicks for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Little kicks, eight, point the toe, elongate the leg. Last set right here, eight, seven, six, five, point the toe, four, hold on to the core, three, lengthen through the spine, two, and one, this is it. Little kicks, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. That is quite the burn. Whew. Oh my gosh, let's take a quick little stretch to cool down. I've got other cool downs here for you as well, so definitely check those out. You did amazing. And I know these moves were different, so I encourage you to come back and do this video over and over again, okay? Your form's gonna improve, your strength's gonna improve. Add the extra challenges I gave you, like the push-ups and the weights, and you're gonna see a huge difference in your strength and confidence. Good job. Great job in showing up for yourself today. And if you enjoyed today's class, then subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, because it really helps me out so that I can keep creating amazing workouts and challenges just like this for you. And if you're ready to take your fitness to the next level and want to be a part of an amazing community that keeps you accountable and motivated, then download my Stretchy Fit app because it has my absolute best bar and yoga programs it's available in any app store. So check it out for free and I will see you in the next video. Bye.